Greetings world. We are anonymous. The IRS just declared war on Bitcoin retroactively. This announcement that the IRS will now be treating Bitcoin as property, not currency, has serious legal implications for anyone who has used it over the past few years. On March 25, 2014, the IRS issued a unilateral edict which instantly puts the entire US Bitcoin community in legal quandary. They are calling it virtual currency guidance. The new rules designates all cryptocurrencies as property, not as currency, and states that any increase in value between the date of acquisition and the date of sale counts as capital gains and is taxable. All payments using Bitcoin are subject to the same reporting requirements as normal payments and Bitcoin mining is also now considered taxable income. Oh, and by the way, these new rules and penalties apply retroactively. If you run now to grovel at their feet, they may be willing to reduce those penalties somewhat if you can convince them that you had a good reason for not reading their mind in the future. Their new law. Taxpayers may be subject to penalties for failure to comply with tax laws. For example, underpayments attributable to virtual currency transactions may be subject to penalties, such as accuracy-related penalties under Section 666. In addition, failure to timely or correctly report virtual currency transactions when required to do so may be subject to information reporting penalties under Section 6721 and 6722. However, penalty relief may be available to taxpayers and persons required to file an information return who are able to establish that the underpayment or failure to properly file information returns is due to reasonable cause. In one failed swoop, the U.S. government has placed the entire U.S. Bitcoin community in a precarious legal position. Much of the allure of the currency lies in the fact that it has been widely viewed as a way to bypass government restrictions and to challenge the current monetary system. Up until this point, this currency rebellion did not carry any risk outside of the obvious price volatility. Now, however, those who have bought, sold, or mined Bitcoin since 2009 have a choice. Either attempt to go back and trace every single transaction and corresponding price in US dollars, or go rogue and hope for the best. Considering the libertarian leanings of the Bitcoin community, it is unlikely that many will comply. The real question is whether this will push people to keep Bitcoin gains from touching their traditional bank accounts or whether they will reduce their interaction with the currency. The decision to apply these rules retroactively may have another unintended consequence. Given the massive undertaking that retroactive bookkeeping would entail, many Bitcoin users are very likely to make a conscious decision not to obey. For many, this could very well be the first time that they defy the federal, not our supposed to be government, tax collectors. And once their status is irregular, it becomes much more likely that they will stay irregular. For those of you who have chosen another form of currency resistance, like precious metals, do not be so quick to snicker and say, I told you so. These rules set precedent may very well be applied to gold and silver in the near future and retroactively. Anonymous has therefore decided, these humans that claim title to govern humanity has to go for that name, government. Only wrong bloodshed and shame. We as humanity cannot be silent anymore. For any injustice, it will be reported. Followed by humanity's creep. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. To the corrupt governments of our world. Anonymous and the rest of humanity declare. We do not need your assistance anymore.